episode 848, When You Want to Give Up. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. It is Sweet Spirit Sunday, and it's just a time of reflection. I want you to put away all the craziness of this world. There's a lot going on, not just in your life, but in other people's lives that you love so much and care about. But for just a few minutes here, I want you to focus on you and what God has in store for you when we talk about when you want to give up. Yes, that is our sweet spirit chat today. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. In order to live, love, and impact, we have to take care of ourselves. And for women, men, you can kind of do it. But women, oh, it gets tough. That's because how God created us. We are nurturers. And yes, I'm going to kind of talk really truly from the heart today. But you know, that's how I always talk to you. I talk to you real and raw, very authentic. It's been a rough week for me. If you heard the episode, The Call You Never Want, Confessions of an Upset Mama, Yeah, my son got into a motorcycle accident. It's been a rough week. When you want to give up, I thought, what a better title. I reflected a lot on and off, but you know what? I still had to continue to live my life. We still had to continue to move forward. The biggest challenge when you want to give up is to keep going, moving forward, and taking action with each step. But it's more than easy to throw up your arms and say, "Hmm, I give up. I'm not where I want to be. I've been at this how long? It's just not worth it. Have you ever had that internal conversation? Maybe even had kind of some bad words said in your own mind going, well, why are you thinking like that? Well, I don't know. Why are you thinking like that? It's like you got two people sitting on the side of your shoulder and you're going back and forth. You're really not. But that's what it feels like. It's an ache. It's the curse of giving up. And the curse of giving up is the easy way out. It is easy. If you aren't experiencing the results you wanted within your timeline, why keep pushing a rock up a hill? You just keep going backwards. There it goes. Two steps forward, five steps back. Two steps, three steps forward, ten steps back. It's like, why do it when you want to give up? Galatians 6, 9 says this, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, We will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So I want you to put a pause right now to all those negative talks that are so tempting to grab a hold of with greater hope than your own dream. Your dream is null and void in your opinion, right? Up. You're not getting anywhere, so why keep trying? I don't want to keep pushing it up the hill. I can't do it any longer because you're worth it. Well, is that what you believe? Think about it. If you're ready to give up and throw in the towel, yes, essentially you are saying you're not worth it. Now, this doesn't apply, though, to changing directions or changing your focus. That's for another episode. But we're talking about literally saying in my new business or my marriage or my work, my job, I've been fighting I've been trying to, like, get a promotion. I've been trying to move on, but I keep running into the same daggum brick wall. What's wrong with me? Well, as I told you, it's been a rough week, and even though there's lots to do in the life, I mean, just because things happen, you still have to keep moving forward, and we've got a lot of things happening in our life right now. Our family, I just got to tell you, the enemy's after us. It really is. But the enemy is after a lot of people who are wanting to do God's work. And so I 
took a few moments away to plant my trees. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that every season about this time, I decide that it's time to plant my 10 hibiscus trees. I love it being from Hawaii. Hibiscus is one of my favorite flowers. There it grows beautiful. Here, not so much up north. So it's a very short season that I can enjoy it. But I sure enjoy and the rewards that I get, the beautiful blooms every single morning when I go outside. It's just amazing. So I was planting these 10 trees that I do, you know, of course, every year. And there was this one stubborn one, this one crazy tree that did not want to release its roots from his pot. I was tired. I was ready to give up. I was so frustrated at this pot. It's a pot that has the roots in it, protecting it. And I'm like, what is going on here? And I was just like, Arr! and I took a break. I walked away, came back, and then my youngest comes out bounding with energy. Mom, can I help you? You need help? And I'm like, yes, come over and save me. So we battled it out with this tree. I mean, it was like a, a war between the, you know, my son and I, and then the tree. I'm like, roots, you got to let go. I got to plant you. I'm taking you to a higher place, a better place. You will feel much better. Like the tree understood all of this, but I was, I was done. This was the last tree. As the sun began to set, I was once again reminded, maybe I should just give up. We continued different ways to loosen the tree. I mean, he was down at one end of the pot. And I'm like, push on it, push on it, loosen it from the side. You know, if you've ever worked with potted plants, you know how you just kind of, you know, push on it a little bit. It releases itself and then you can pull it out. Oh, this tree was not releasing, I'm telling you. No, it was, a, it was putting up a fight. So then I was like, okay, you come and protect this in and I'll try and do this. And then at one point I'm like, okay, let's just try and pull it out. You, and I tried it with my feet holding the pot. That didn't work. He's like, mom, I'll do it. I'll hold the bottom and you pull. We're sitting here. I, <laughs> I should have had a video going of it. And I'm, I'm grunting and groaning. And so is he. And we're like, and daddy was doing something else too. And they're like, well, you're doing really good over there. You know, they were kind of beginning to cheer us on. Like, you can do this. You can do this. But we both kind of really, once again, felt like giving up. And finally, we broke free from the pot. It was done. It felt like I had climbed the tallest mountain and had the biggest smile on my face. We did it. We both gave each other a high five as I quickly put the tree and set it in the pot so it wouldn't get all over the ground and the roots would get messed up. We decided at one point, in all the frustration and all the craziness, the ups and downs, to not give up. We were determined. Sometimes, though, our determination, our own willpower, even our own dream isn't enough. So what do you do? You call on God. You ask him. Second Chronicles 15, 7 says this, but as for you, be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded. What makes me sad is that we don't always see the rewards because we give up. And yeah, you're tired. You don't want to push that boulder anymore, do you? You're ready to throw in that towel. You're done fighting. You're done grunting and groaning. Yeah, marriage isn't worth it. That business that you've been dreaming of for the last two years, you've kind of been working on, nah, might as well give it up. Wanting to go back to college and finish your degree and you just can't get the financial uh, situation to kind of love you out in the classes. I mean, it just doesn't seem like anything is working. What do you do? What do you do? When you want to give up, you got to call on God. Stop doing it by yourself and call on him. I promise you, he's right there waiting for you. How have you been relying on him lately? Or are you just trying to do everything of your own strength? I know. I can be really stubborn. And I try to not use that word very often because I want to say that I'm more determined than stubborn, but it does backfire on me. And I like to have control. I am a firstborn. <laughs> yeah. Firstborn and 
the firstborn girl. So, I mean, I got all the thing cards stacked against me. And you had the preacher's kid and the army brat and the navy brat. I mean, okay, I am a firecracker waiting to go off all the time. But when you want to give up, what do you do? Oh, you just keep going and barreling through of your own strength. Eventually, you grow tired. You grow weary. You can't do it by yourself. And that's why God said, hello, knock, knock, knock. I'm here. I'm trying to get your attention, but you're not paying attention. Open the door and call on God. Stop doing it by yourself. Reach out. He's waiting for you. So it's really up to you. The ball's in your court. What do you need help on? What do you need to gain more strength? This has been a crazy week and I know more are coming. I just know. But God is going to get me through. It's one step at a time. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. And when you call on God, I promise you, that reward will be on the other side. But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. It may not be the reward that you had pictured. you got to understand that also. But when God's involved, there's nothing better. Nothing better. And you know what? I just want to remind you, you are worth it. Because he never gave up on you. So don't give up on him. Go out, live, love, and impact. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, love, and lots and lots of hugs. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.